Hey everyone. So just the other day, Bree from the ML.net team released a blog post going over model builder updates for November. I'm going to spend this video and another video going over those updates because I think they're uh, really good updates. Uh, first thing I'm going over in this video are the data loading options. And I'll put this link in the description. So feel free to go there for a lot more details on what's been added. So in Visual Studio here, I have a, just a regular console app created and I'm going to right click on the project, add machine learning. We have our list of scenarios here. And so uh, let's do a text classification, which is basically a classification scenario. And I'm gonna use my local environment. And here's where some differences are. Before we can only do a file, now we can do a SQL Server. And this is what I'll do for the next video I'll show using the SQL Server option. For now, I'll choose a file. And I think I have the bank CSV, so I'll use that. And like usual, we'll choose what column we want to predict. And it's gonna be the default column. But here, we have this advanced data options link here. So we'll click that. And this is where we get to be a lot more granular on the information of our columns. So you can see it does a, a good job already by inferring the column uh, types. So age is numerical, job is text, marital is categorical, education categorical, and balance is numerical. But we can change these such as job is text, but we can make that categorical. And now some of these down here, uh, we don't really care about some of these columns. So we can say to ignore the Y column, the P outcome, the previous, the P days, the campaign and duration. Let's do month and a day as well. So we do that. And we can also have this data formatting tab here. And see, does the first row contain the column headers? Yes, yes. And the column separator, we can specify what separator is being used. It automatically detected as a semicolon, which is good. But another cool thing here is we can tell what decimal separator style we have here. So in the US, we use a dot for or decimal, but in I think most European countries, they use a comma for decimals. And so you can specify that here. So I click save. And next step, we'll do training. And this is gonna be just like usual model builder steps here. I'll do 30 seconds and start training. All right, our training got complete. Our top model has a accuracy of pretty much 98%, which is pretty good. And that's pretty much all for this video. And this is a quick video. And once again, for more information, definitely look at this blog post from Bree. It has a lot more details into some of the things that were added. And until next time, thanks for watching.